Good morning, my name's Natalie and I'm a bird keeper here at Auckland Zoo. This morning it's 5.30 in the morning here at the zoo, so a nice early start for us. We're off down to Tamata on the west coast of the Coromandel to collect some kiwi eggs for our Operation Nest Egg program. There's a population of kiwi that live here in the tomato bush and there are currently eight males that have a radio transmitter attached to their leg. So what Debs is going to do now is just listen out for the beep signal just to make sure that the bird is still incubating and still in the same place um, and that allows us to um, hone in on the nest and locate the nest. Uh, I heard something there. The beeps that Debs is picking up with her telemetry equipment are getting really nice and strong now, um, so we know we're getting really close to the bird. That's um, they don't like to make our lives easy, which is not good for us, but it's good for them. So really steep. <laughs> cool. Let's go. As you can see, he's chosen to nest on a cliff face, which always makes the work challenging. Um, so we're basically just working our way along the cliff face now, trying to locate the burrow. So hopefully we'll find it soon. Only 5% of chicks that hatch naturally in the wild will actually reach breeding age. So we're taking chicks at that really vulnerable age and putting them onto a predator-free area, in our case Rotorua Island, um, where they're able to spend that period of time getting nice and big and strong and then we can bring them here where there are still pests around but in lower numbers and they should be able to defend themselves against the stoats. That little white patch there is the air cell. You can see some really nice strong crisp veins. So it's definitely fertile, that's awesome. It's really rewarding. I don't like taking the eggs from the males, but I know in the long run, the chick's got a much higher chance of surviving with spending some time out on Rotorua Island and then coming back here, rather than if we just left it to hatch here in the bush. So yeah, so it's a really good feeling. This whole thing is about leaving the place better in the long term. I would just hate to be a Kiwi and we didn't have Kiwi here. To me that's real special. So even though we've got a huge number of people involved in community groups and volunteering their time towards helping Kiwi, we still have a national annual decline of 2%. So we definitely need all the help we can get to save our precious Kiwi. Mm -hmm.